So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is going to be a look at the next 48 hours, which is March 27th through the 29th. Um, so if you're new, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe if you want to see more of my readings. Also, if you would like to see more of my daily horoscopes, I post them on my Instagram and my Twitter. You can follow me at Mystical Crystal Tarot on Instagram and Mystical Crystal on Twitter. Also, if you would like a personal session, my Linktree link is always listed in the description box. Um, and that's where my website will be um, listed. So let's get into it. Sagittarius from March 27th through the 29th, please. Okay. Um, and then I'll try to drag this down a little so you guys can see the cards just a bit. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first card that we have representing the overall energy, we do have the Page of Cups. Um, so for this time frame, there may be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio of significance. If not necessarily a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, this is a love interest. Um, you may be feeling like this person and you are starting to develop a level of like puppy love, especially if this is like a newer connection, um, may not be deep enough to be like deep profound I'm in love with you um but more puppy love and you could be finding yourself really really interested or enamored by this person um for my people who have been dating somebody for a while though you may be feeling like your person is acting a little immature during this time frame um they could be acting a little petty or just being disagreeable at times or you guys could be trying to express your feelings to each other and things could get really messy emotionally if um, you guys aren't expressing your feelings in a way where your person is understanding you and vice versa. Okay. Now, when it comes to your current energy, we do have the lover's card. So there may be a Gemini of significance that may be affecting your energy. But with the lovers, this is you having to make some head over heart decisions here. Um, you may be. Dang, why my cards keep falling all the time um, with the lovers card? You may be having to make a decision about your like relationship. This may be more of like finances for some of you um, clarifying that I do have the seven of cups. So this is you trying to make a head over heart decision after being in this emotional confusion for a while in this fog or this disillusion. Yeah. And there could be like so many issues in terms of your person having options or um, the issue could be very much that you may have options or just the fighting has really like blurred the relationship in terms of where it's headed and if you guys are going to even be able to keep it together. I also see you guys having to make a head over heart decision in terms of like a career path. Um, Seven of Cups with the Five of Wands. It's like some of you are very confused. If I could stop dropping the cards. Some of you are very confused as to what career would be in alignment with you. You also may be very conflicted because you have so many different ideas and so many things that you're pushing and pulled towards. Um, but I definitely get this energy of you guys having to make a decision nonetheless. Now the challenge, I have the 10 of cups. Um, so the challenge may be family. This could be your family, like your immediate family. Um, so this could be mother, father, brother, stuff like that. Or you could have children yourself, um, have your own family. And this could be a bit of a challenge, like your marriage may be on the rocks and you want to keep it together for the sake of your family unit. Or some of you who don't necessarily, who aren't married or anything like that, the person you may have children with, that may be the challenge in terms of you guys coming together and just being a family. Um... 
This could also be your personal happiness. You could be going through some things in terms of like having to redefine what happiness looks like for you, basically. Some of you want like to have a child, to have a family, and that could be a problem because you could be a little bit older and you may feel like you missed your mark with that. Um, so it's several things that I'm kind of seeing. Now, the advice I can give you with the moon card, um, this is for one, not being in this constant state of worry, um, worrying about the future or just being in a state of worry keeps us from actually shifting things in our lives. It just keeps us in the state of fear more than anything. So try not to subscribe to, Ooh, shit. I didn't even, re excuse my language. I didn't even realize that there was this thing in the water on this card. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a minute since I used this deck. So yeah. Um, stop subscribing to worry or fears. Um, especially when it comes to the future, if you're focusing on what's now going on, you'll be able to better shape the future because the now is basically the future. Technically. Um, also when it comes to you having unsettled feelings, or a level of worry about someone as far as like them keeping secrets or anything like that. If you have anybody like that around you where you have to constantly be scared that this person's lying or just being sneaky, you may need to reevaluate whether or not they should still be in your life if you have to always watch behind your back for them. Now, the last card we have, we have the five of pentacles. This is the outcome. Um, so this, you guys are going to be either leaving something behind, um, financially, you guys may have to take care of something. This may leave you at a disadvantage. This may be like you having to pay bills or some sort of random bill comes up. You may have to dip into your savings. Um, some of you also may be like trying to turn around your financial situation, especially if you're like trying to leave your current home environment to get your own place. And you could be, I don't know, some of you could be just suffering from like a poverty mindset. Um, and when I say poverty mindset, this is just like your relationship with money may not necessarily be the most positive, especially like growing up. So you may always have this mindset of, oh, it's hard for me to attract money. It's hard for me to have money. And you guys are gonna have to nip this in the bud. But yeah, you guys are gonna leave somebody alone. This looks like a Scorpio. Um, who may like say some really messed up things and arguments or just like leave you out in the cold or anything to that nature or just somebody who does things like because the five of swords and the five, so five of swords comes up this is somebody who does things only to advance themselves like they they're trying to win at all costs basically so yeah you may be cutting somebody off who just again does some really hurtful things whenever they're upset now the last card we have we have abundance so this is speaking to your financial situation a lot of you will be like i said focusing on how you can make more money Okay, how you can be more abundant. Um, I'm not seeing that necessarily all of you are just struggling financially, but there's a need for you to shift your mindset when it comes to your relationship with money so that you can attract it a lot easier and it won't feel like, you know, you're constantly in this state of needing more. So this is what I see. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up subscribe check out the description box for my information if you would like to book a personal reading and i will see you in the next one